Hello and welcome to another episode of Live, Think, Grow. My name is Regina Silva and I help female coaches and lightworkers become full-time and thriving using spiritually infused mindset, marketing, and sales strategy. I'm super stoked for today's episode because it is very near and dear to my heart because I'm going to be sharing with you three ways to co-create your abundant coaching business with spirit. And the reason this is so near and dear to my heart because over the last year and a half since I started my coaching business, I have been walking hand in hand with Spirit to help me create this entire thing. And that is the precise reason why I am a coach who uses spiritually infused mindset marketing and sales strategy because I consider myself a conscious female entrepreneur and I am here to help a huge paradigm shift go underway, where we are actually shifting from ego-centered business and into heart-centered business. And as a psychic, intuitive, medium, and channeler, I definitely needed spirit on this journey. Like this isn't just me creating this business. Every single business decision with every single launch, spirit has been there right by my side. Now, you might be like, what do you mean by spirit? Universe, your spirit guides, it's all the same thing. It's really all you, because we are one. So whatever you identify with is going to jive with this, but it's just the general concept of being connected to a higher source in your business. Now, before we dive into this really juicy episode, make sure that you click subscribe below, hit that little bell notification so you never miss a beat, because every single Thursday, I'm posting free coaching business tips for you. You're not gonna wanna miss out on this because these are tips that are directly going to help you become a full-time and thriving coach. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's go ahead and dive right in. So as I was mentioning before, throughout my entire journey, I've been co-creating with Spirit, and especially over the last six months, this co-creation has ramped up even bigger and it is really an important part of how I coach and the kind of clients that I call in. So all of the clients that I work with, they are spiritually connected and they see and understand the value of working with spirit because ultimately the kind of coaches that I'm helping to create and helping to become full-time and thriving know that coaching isn't just a business. This is actually a really beautiful career opportunity to create something of service that has true impact on others. And meanwhile, you also get to create financial abundance and life abundance as well. And I don't know about you, but that feels like literally the best career ever. I know that I love my job. My clients love their job. And so really by me sharing with you these three ways, I'm hoping that it inspires you to co-create with Spirit even more because Spirit is here to help guide you in all of the beautiful, beautiful ways. Magic is real. Manifestation is real. And I want to help you tune into this as you create this abundant, badass, soul aligned coaching business for yourself. Okay, so the first way that you can co-create with spirit is by meditating as much as possible. Now I'm always encouraging my clients to create a meditation ritual in their daily lives because it is such a powerful opportunity for you to open your channel, for you to come home to your true self, your spirit, soul self, and really to just check in with you. And so the more that you meditate, this is the amazing thing about meditation, the better that you get at it and the easier it gets to clear away the ego mind and actually get in touch with your soul spirit self. And the more that you get in touch with your soul spirit self, well, guess what? That's you co-creating with spirit. And it's going to allow you to make decisions from this really clear level balanced place rather than from a place of fear, anxiety, or lack. And the cool thing about meditation is that there are so many ways to incorporate meditation ritual into your daily life. It doesn't just look like you sitting there in Vipassana. It could be dancing for you. It could be working out. It could be going on a meditative walk. It's whatever essentially allows you to really quiet that ego, that mind chatter, and really tune in to the present moment, which is the only moment that exists, by the way. The second way that you can co-create with spirit to help you create an abundant coaching business is by directly asking your spirit guides for help. So get this, if you don't know this already, every single person that is alive has spirit guides. 
These are essentially spirits from higher dimensions, past loved ones, it really depends on the person who is in the spiritual realm, helping you on your life path and journey. Now, get this, you do have free will, but your spirit guide is here to help assist you. So, for example, if you've ever seen like 222 on the clock all day, every day, or 1111, that could be potentially your spirit guide trying to communicate with you. And the more that you actually lean in to receiving messages from them, the more that they can help you create whatever you wanna create in your life and business. And so your spirit guides really want you to know that you can call on them for help with anything and everything. There's no ask that is too big or too small, just as long as it's not harming anyone, but I don't think anyone watching this is in that energy anyway. So don't be afraid to ask them for help. Just so you know, some of the things I've asked my spirit guides with help with is my marketing and my messaging, being more efficient with my content, helping me with a launch. Oh, there's been so much asking for help when it comes to launches. In fact, and I'll have to make a whole nother video on this, but a big reason why I've been able to sell at every single launch is because I'm like directly co-creating with spirit and infusing intention and calling in soulmate clients into my sphere. So don't be afraid to do that. With whatever you need help with, ask your spirit guides for help. They are so ready and willing to help you with anything that you need. The third way, and it does go hand in hand with this second way is use spiritual tools. There are so many spiritual tools that can help you receive messages unless you have been working on your channeling skills and you just receive them directly. And some of these tools include pendulums, oracle or energy cards or tarot cards. You can also use crystals. You can use free writing channeling, speaking channeling. These are all tools that help you quiet the ego mind, open up your channel to allow spirit to come in. Now I'm gonna give you an example. Have you ever just been like writing something in your journal and you look and after you're done writing, you're like, holy shit, like all of this just like flowed out of me. That is you channeling. And you could have potentially been channeling your higher self, a spirit guide. So when you use these really simple tools, it's going to help you get one step closer to really like communicating and working directly with your spirit guides and the spirit realm. So I actually use all of the tools that I mentioned, but one of the most important tools for me has been using my energy cards. So every single morning I'm pulling my energy cards, I'm asking for messages from spirit to my life and to my business. And I can't tell you how many times I received such divine wisdom and knowledge that really helped me put together the missing puzzle piece and that has led me to this exact moment here and now. So don't be afraid to use these tools and just know as well that if you are interested in connecting more to spirit without these tools, that that is totally accessible to you. We all have the ability to connect to spirit as little or as much as we'd like, and it's really up to you and your soul contract to decide how much you want to let spirit play a part in your life and business. Now, I have a hunch though that if you're watching this, we're on the same wavelength. So I hope that by hearing these three ways that it has really inspired you to dive more into your spirituality and really allow spirit to come in and help you create powerful decisions and take beautiful, inspired, messy action in your business. Remember, spirit is here to help you. You are so divine. You are coaching from a heart-centered place. You are here to change the world. And so allow spirit to come in and help you fulfill this mission. Now, I hope you liked this week's YouTube episode. Until next week, happy living.